I'm doing another collab with Rainbow Bites. This time I let her pick what we did for Summerween. Summerween is my collab. But she picked Werewolf. So here is a painting that I did myself of a werewolf couple in the 18th century. I thought it was adorable. This doll is going to become a werewolf. If that doll was the person, his life would flash before his eyes. But this is the doll I'm using today. I have used it before to paint a beard and redo his hair to make a ret doll for Good Mythical Morning. But this is just a screenshot of what I did before, and I will link that video down below if you want to see me actually paint the doll. I'm completely finished! Rain uh, Rainbow Bites, here's my wolf doll! Yes, I'm just kidding. It can't be that easy. Of course, that is one of my many Beauty and the Beast costumes. Seems like every time I get a big lot, they have a Beauty and the Beast costume in it. But I watch a lot of Netflix documentaries. That is for Rhett because I don't even have Netflix. I had no idea what she was going to pick, what Rainbow Bites was going to pick when I let her control this week. We do these videos every two weeks. And it is an open collab, so you can collab with us. The rules will be in the description, but basically you must be subscribed to both of us, make your video, and tell us that you made your video, and you will go in the playlist. And please remember to put our channels in the description as well. This is, I bought this a yard sale. I don't know what it was for. It was definitely for Barbie. There's loops in the back, so I think it used to have a ribbon at the bottom, too. There's a couple little fuzzies in it. I'm going to tape this on for now, because what I'm making is a werewolf costume for a doll. I'm not actually making a werewolf doll. My original idea was to make a werewolf onesie, but I do not have enough felt material to make that. But one day, I think I will make that. But you need a lot of felt brown, and I only have a tiny bit. Enough to make this costume. I'm going to put a jacket on him. So it's like his clothes have ripped, and all he has is his jacket and pants left. Could not find my punk pants, which would be better because they have rips all down the side. But this will be a dapper werewolf man. The next thing I want to do is make him ears. So I'm just going to cut this felt material that I had left over. And I'm going to take this thing from a water bottle and I'm just going to sew this around. I'm just using a quick stitch because it really doesn't matter because I don't have dark brown thread so the stitch part will be in the back so you can't see it from the front and I'm just sewing around I'm I trimmed it down a little because then it wouldn't it was a little long after I added earmuffs to it so I wanted that to look like earmuffs and then I just attached a quick set of ears which I tried to film, but it didn't film very well. I was just going to use fabric glue, but um, I cannot find my fabric glue. <laughs> Story of my life. I am very disorganized, but I could find this beautiful faux fur. And this is what I'm using for his tail. Now, I could have, like, done a terrible job and just gave him the beast costume for the tail because there's a jacket with the tail and there's also pants with the tail because I have more than one from different sets of that movie but instead I wanted to give him a luxurious fluffy tail like my dog's tail. 
he wants to be fluffy. I did want to give him cuffs, but this faux fur material is actually really hard to work with because it's so fluffy, it's hard to sew through. And like that, it just comes out and you have to make be very careful where you're sewing, how you're sewing it. So I decided to next that idea and just keep his tail, his furry chest, and his ears. Because I do make him a very nice set of ears. I'm just going to quickly attach his ears after finishing this tail and my little werewolf costume will be complete. This is him complete. It is a very cute costume. I do wish I had had used a lighter jacket so you could see the dark brown for a little better. Those are his ears and earmuffs. And originally I thought of making a doll that was transitioning into a werewolf and he was trying to hide it, which is where the onesie would come in. But this is super cute, I think. I love the tail. That fur was really hard to work with, but is so fluffy. And even though it's faux fur, it really taste. It really feels real. It's very nice. And I want to show you some better pictures of this doll. And if you want to collab with us, you have to tag your videos Summer, hashtag Summerween Dolls, and you have to be subscribed to both of us. Our first um, thing we did was Ghost Doll, and then we did Werewolf Dolls, and next, on the 19th, we are doing Mummy. You have to be subscribed to both of us, and link our channel in the description, and tell us that you're taking part, so I and Rainbow G Bites can add you to our individual playlist for Summerween Dolls. There will be a link in the description, so head on over to Rainbow Bites' channel and see what she made. The ghost doll she made last time was amazing. She took the cheapest doll that she could find and made it like crazy cool. And here are some pictures of what I did for Summer Ween Ghost Dolls. Thank you so much for watching and please like, comment, and subscribe and check out the playlist with all of the Summer Ween videos.